Hello everybody, happy Tuesday, I hope you're doing very, very well. Last week, I went to the Classic Football Shirt Store in Manchester, and yes, I've obviously bought some football shirts. It's been a while since I've been there, and it's still the same shop, uh, but they do seem to now have some shirts that are of the current season, which was a little bit better for me. Now, admittedly, I do have most of the clubs are already represented, but there were two that I found that I thought, you know what, let's add them to the collection. The only the only problem is when you buy in the physical store is you can't use your discount codes. So I end up actually paying more than I usually would, which is a bit of a shame, but I suppose you also then get the shirts right then and there and also get to see them in person. So I obviously didn't already be open, etc. So let's go and start with this one. This one I actually had to think about a lot because the team that is here, I think they have possibly the three best shirts released um, this season, though their third shirt hasn't been officially released. Are you ready for this? It is, where's the back? Okay, so does that give anything away? It shouldn't really because, you know what, there are actually too many sort of special features of this one other than one thing which you'll notice probably straight away once i turn it around it is blue and red who plays in blue and red good question let's turn it around there we go so it's still blue and red but it has a little bit of white on blue red and white hmm wonder what country might use those colors and you have obviously the club crest there Maybe it's one you're not that familiar with. It's certainly not one that they currently use. It's a little bit of a throwback. And that's ultimately the reason why I purchased this shirt. So, I mean, I probably, to be honest, a lot of you probably do know who this is. So I'll just quickly put it on the mannequin and then I'll explain to you why I went for this one in particular. Right here then, there is the shirt. It fits pretty standardly on the mannequin there. It does on the inside of the collar say a slim fit though, but, um, I don't really see it in my eyes, so, you know, make your own decisions based on what you feel is fair. Yes, of course, this is Leon, and it's their away shirt from the current season that's only just begun, 23-24. It cost me £79.99 because, well, the season's only just begun, so the price is its highest point. It's not a cheap shirt, but I suppose once you're there in person, it's kind of one of those things where you think, well... It actually looks really nice. I'm going to buy it. I suppose I could have waited towards the end of the season and likelihood is it certainly would drop in price somewhere. But, you know, you never know with these sort of things. So the club is based in Lyon. What a surprise. Uh, they were founded in 1950, though, which is maybe slightly younger than some people would have anticipated. Now, they play football in Ligue 1, which, of course, is the top division in in uh, France and the season obviously has only just begun and they well they sit third from bottom at certainly the time of recording so it's not not a great start for them last season they finished in seventh place which compared to the Lyon I grew up with in the early noughties it's definitely uh, gone downhill a little bit from there of course they won I think it was seven consecutive league titles in a row in fact I technically, this is my third, no, my third, this is my second Leon shirt. Uh, I had one of their home shirts with Benzema on the back. I loved watching Benzema play. Juninho is one of my all-time favourite players. And then you have other players like Essien, Malouda, obviously, who both went off to, to Chelsea. It was a great time to be a Leon fan. Um, obviously, PSG have sort of taken over that mantle of the dominant team in France. They are rivals with... Saint Etienne, the team that's sort of has just been covered up by Leon there. Both teams are kind of further away from their sort of Halcyon premium days where they were the best team in the country. Obviously, Saint Etienne much further away than Leon. So, the reason why I purchased this one is just purely the crest. That's simply what it is. I just have this fascination with all the crests. This was one that was used between 1989 and 1996. And it's really simple. It's kind of almost reminds me of some logos that are being created today, which have gone from being sort of very classical and, and, and sort of bespoke to just simple letters and text. And some people might not like them, but I think this one is, I think this is great. And obviously you've got that sort of French trick law sort of running through there. I, I love it. I think it's really nice. I think if it would have just had the typical logo, you'd think mm, it's a very pretty boring shirt but just something as simple as that i think it's i think it's actually really nice the home shirt is 
really beautiful as well. It's obviously white, but it has that offset vertical band running down, which is sort of intersected by the club crest, and it has gold sort of trims and, and logos. Very, very nice. And also the third shirt, which hasn't been officially released, but you've seen photographs. I think it's another one of those ones where it's partnered with a street artist. Very, very colorful, very, very vibrant. And I saw that and I thought, hmm, that's the one I'm going to get. But to be honest, I think it might just be a bit too much, but not enough. Don't know what that means, doesn't mean anything, but I think you can see what I'm saying when you see the photograph. To be honest, all three are great. From my perspective so you, you can't really go wrong i can see people going for the home one for sure but this one with this this throwback is is a beautiful beautiful shirt and i think you can get obviously this one from classic World shirts online and you can also get the home one and then no doubt probably you'll be able to get the third one at some point leon i don't believe they have um play versions they've just got sort of the stadium versions for the, for the fans to buy but it kind of feels nice there's some good ventilation going on there so it's not like a typical boring basics added as material it's there is some some time and effort gone into it but it's still not a sort of true um play issue version um i suppose i do okay so when it comes to leon i don't have too many regrets when it comes to buying or not buying football shirts but there was a shirt from quite a while ago that i could have bought from classic football shirts and it was that 3d one you know when 3D, once again, was sort of the hype and everyone was trying to get on the band? Uh, they released a third shirt, which came with some of those, you know, green, I'm sorry, uh, red and blue 3D sunglasses. And you looked at the shirt and I've not seen it in person, but I presume it had some sort of effect. I don't know why I didn't buy that. I really don't know, because it would have just been a really cool sort of gimmick to have in my collection. Um, but... Yeah, didn't do it, and it's now gone, and I've not really seen any of them since. I've obviously seen them and used, but they've not got tags, and a lot of them don't even have the uh, the glasses either. So it's a shame, but, you know, it's just one of those things. You can't have them all. And this one is just a smart Adidas shirt. So, yeah, it's one of those ones where... <sighs> Would I have wanted to pay a little bit less? Yes, obviously, but you know what? I need a Leon shirt and it's finally here. So I, I don't have too many major teams left in Europe to grab. I have Bayern Munich, I have Sevilla. That's obviously discounting the other English teams. But that's it really. Everybody else has kind of been accounted for now. So uh, yeah, almost, almost there for the major teams. So let me know what do you think? Which, which, which would you get if you have to get either the home, the away or the third shirts? Because um, yeah, I think this is a best season to grab Leon if you don't have one yourself so yeah that's it next one i'll actually show you on friday is a, another shirt it's a team that i've not seen for sale i don't think yet um at least not without it being just like a one-off so i was pretty pleased when i saw that one i knew it was on their website but i didn't expect to see it in star so yes uh, keep your eyes peeled for that one thank you as always for watching my videos and i'll see you on friday goodbye